Welcome to Worship Tutorials. We have new presets and captures and profiles and all the things based on this 
This is a Sir Badger 18. Uh, this is not actually the first Badger, Sir Badger amplifier we've we've uh, made presets and captures of here at Worst Tutorials. We have the Badger 30 stuff available as well. And you might ask yourself, how different is the 18 than the 30? I'll tell you this, they're both sort of going after the same tonal ground. It's like this, Sir's take on a lower wattage vintage Marshall type of a tone. So if you know the Marshall 1974X, it's an 18 watt Marshall combo they made in the 60s. They're actually pretty coveted because not they didn't make that many. This to me reminds me of that amp. So this has got a little thicker mid-range thing going on than the 30 does, uh, but it's very classic vintage Marshall type tones. It's not a high gain amplifier. It really, it's, it excels at that sort of edge of breakup thing, which is the best type of tone, according to me, anyway. Uh, this thing sounds great for cleans, but it does like a more classic rock type of a crunch when you gain it up or if you hit it with uh, drive pedals, things like that. It is a lower wattage amplifier, so um, it doesn't have a, like as much headroom as the, the 100 watt Marshall stuff that we've done, for example, but it's just a really great all around platform amplifier. I hope that comes through in the playing samples that you're hearing with like effects running into it. And it really translated well in our, really great in our opinion to like the Helix and the, the Fractal tone match stuff. Um, the Badger 18 is actually an amp model in the Fractal universe. So we were able to match that amp model of this amp to this amp. We captured this amplifier through a Mojo Tone Blues Breaker cab. It's a 212 cab and it has a pair of warehouse guitar speakers in there. If you're not familiar with warehouse guitar speakers, WGS, it's high end stuff. They make great sounding speakers. The more I hear of warehouse stuff, the more I love it. Uh, so the Blues Breaker cab that we captured this through has a Veteran 30, which is a V30 type of a speaker and an ET65, which is like a cream back. So it's like a mismatched V30 cream back uh, set of speakers. I really love the way it sounds, especially with this amplifier. So that's another way these presets and captures are gonna differ from the, uh, the Badger 30 that we have available. That amplifier was captured through a Bogner 212 uh, with G12H uh, Greenback and G12H 30 speakers in it. Also a great sounding cab. We have IR packs of both of those cabs. All that stuff available below at Worship Tutorials. I wanna tell you a little bit about the presets and captures themselves. So uh, this is available currently for uh, Tonex, Quad Cortex, uh, Kemper. Those are the capture platforms. So we captured this amp through that cab and we captured it all through the gain range of the amp. So you're gonna get clean all the way to like the amps turned up to 10 and it sounds cool. Uh, now for the, the Line 6 and Fractal presets, those are going to deliver with like full-on presets that have snapshots and scenes built into them, stomp modes built into them as well. Super versatile in these presets for those two platforms and for Quad Cortex, that includes presets as well as the captures. Um, but for these presets, we put the amps in a stereo configuration at the end of the chain. So you're going to have all the wet effects running into the two stereo amplifiers. It's the same instance, like the same settings. And when you import the IRs, you put the same IR in both slots. In the Line 6 stuff, it's a stereo IR block. So uh, it's got slot A and slot B. It has the same uh, impulse response in both of those. And the IR is what really revoices the uh, stock amp model to sound just like this one. One note about the HX stomp uh, patches that we get, we kept that stereo configuration in the stomp. So really what it's designed for is if you run a pedal board into your HX stomp first, You've made a wise, congratulations to you. That is a killer setup. So you've made a wise choice. Uh, you can run the stereo out of your pedal board right into input left and right on the stomp. And this preset is gonna have all the routing set up to retain that stereo imaging. Now, if you don't run your stomp that way, you can keep it like that and it'll everything will sound just fine. Uh, but you can get rid of one of the, the amp blocks and use a mono 
IR block and use the same IR and you'll get the same tone, but that will allow you to put more effects into your stomp. Or if you're using like a Stomp XL where you want the amp and IR block and then maybe some drives or some delay, reverb, stuff like that. So we've delivered it with, you know, the stereo setup, but you don't have to use it that way to get the sound that we've dialed in for the amp. Thank you so much for watching. Again, links for all that stuff are below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I don't know why. Jack, can you see the counter? No, it's gone. Usually there's a counter in the background that has how many subscribers we have on YouTube. And YouTube tells us that most of you watching aren't subscribed. You know why it's gone? Because this amp was sitting over there and the counter was sitting on top of this amp. Anyway, you need to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I don't know what's wrong. Why haven't you subscribed? Hopefully we haven't done anything to offend you. But if so, we're, we're sorry, and uh, now you can subscribe, and we can be friends again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.